Hello, future Lancers, and congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Windsor. My name is Dr. Malseva, and I am the undergraduate program chair in the Department of Political Science. We are very excited for you to begin your journey at U Windsor and would like to show you what your full term first year will look like. As you are learning more of what is required for your accepted program, it is important to understand which courses will be essential in completing your degree. Required courses allow students to gain necessary information and create a fundamental base that will allow them to take further specialized courses in future years. Even though there are required courses for each program, students are also able to choose a certain number of electives. This allows students to expand their knowledge about other courses and subjects in different programs. This session will allow you to understand which courses are required. It will also help you to understand how to pick your electives. I will also provide you with some tips for planning a successful schedule and where you can go for help. So let's begin. In your first semester of the political science program, you will need to take polls 1000 section one. This is an introductory course to Canadian government and politics. This course will focus on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and election. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours, and usually there is one tutorial per week. Please remember, that all political science majors should register in section one of polls 1000. All political science majors will also need to take one of the following, polls 1300 or polls 1600. If you are interested in comparative politics, you can take polls 1300. This course introduces students to issues such as democracy, authoritarianism, nationalism, political culture, and how political power is organized. The course focuses on the dem democratic states of the West, but also examines non-democratic states such as China and the transitional democracies of Eastern Europe. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours and one tutorial per week. If you are interested in international relations, you can take polls 1600. This course offers an examination of competing perspectives on international relations and of such critical themes as power, security, war, imperialism, nationalism, interdependence, development, and underdevelopment, human rights, environmental concerns, and the quest for a new world order. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours and one tutorial per week. All political science majors need to take GARD 1500, Effective Writing 1. This is a foundational course aimed at developing effective writing skills for communicating ideas in academic and other contexts. Topics may include grammar, paragraph writing conventions, academic learning, and critical thinking. This is a hybrid course. A hybrid online course means that most course activity is done asynchronously online but there are some required live online or face-to-face -face instructional activities, such as lectures, discussions, labs, 
or other in-person learning activities. It is recommended that students in political science take one arts, language, social science, or science course in the first semester. I in invite you to review course option requirements available on this website. The link to this website is available on this slide. So if you are interested in arts, you can take a language course and that will count for credit as arts and humanities course. You can also take an English and creative writing course, a general course in social sciences, usually abbreviated as GARD. You can also take a philosophy course or women's and gender studies course. Students who are interested in science can take a computer science course, an economics course, an environmental science course, or women's and gender studies course. If you are interested in social sciences, you can take a course in communication, media, and film, economics, history, labor studies, psychology, sociology, or women's and gender studies. To summarize, all political science majors need to take the following courses in the fall term. Polls 1000, section one. Polls 1300 or polls 1600. So one of these two courses. Students also need to take GARD 1500, effective writing one, and one social science course, and one arts, language, or science course. In your first semester of the political science with French special specialization program, you will need to take Polls 1000, section one. This is a course which offers an introduction to the politics and government of Canada. The course will focus on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and elections. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two, sometimes three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. So please remember that all political science with French specialization majors should register in section one of polls 1000. All political science with French specialization majors also need to take one of the following courses. Polls 1300, or poll 1600. So if you are interested in comparative politics, you can take polls 1300 first. This course introduces students to issues such as democracy, authoritarian systems, nationalism, political culture, and how political power is organized. The course focuses on the democratic states of the West but also examines non-democratic states such as China and the transitional democracies of Eastern Europe. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. If you are interested in international relations, you can take poll 1600. This course offers an examination of competing perspectives on international relations and of such critical themes as power, security, war, imperialism, nationalism, interdependence, development and underdevelopment, human rights, environmental concerns, and the quest for a new world order. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. Next. All political science with French specialization majors need to take French 1210, French Language Training 1. This course offers a study of norms and functions of the French verb system, nouns, pronouns, and modifiers. It also offers oral practice, pronunciation, 
and composition. There is a prerequisite for this course, and it's grade 12 French course or an equivalent. Please remember that all political science with French specialization majors also need to register in GAR 1500, Effective Writing 1. This is a foundational course aimed at developing effective writing skills for communicating ideas in academic and other contexts. Topics will include grammar, paragraph writing conventions, academic learning, and critical thinking. This is a hybrid course. A hybrid online course means that most course activity is done asynchronously online, but there are some required live online or face-to-face -face instructional activities such as lectures, discussions, labs, or other in-person learning activities. All political science students who are in our French program are expected to take one social science, arts, language, or science course in the first semester. I recommend you to check this website, Course Options Requirements, and you see this link posted on this slide. So if you are interested in arts, you can take a language course, and this will count for credit as arts and humanities course. You can also take an English or create and creative writing course, a general course in class, a philosophy course, or women's and gender studies course. If you are interested in social sciences or science, you can take a course in communication, media and film, economics, history, labor studies, psychology, sociology, and women's and gender studies. Alternatively, you can register in the computer science course, economics and environmental science, and women and gender studies course. To summarize, all students majoring in political science with French specialization need to take the following courses. Polls 1000, Introduction to Canadian Government and Politics, Politics Section 1. Also, one of the following, Polls 1300, Comparative Politics in a Changing World, or Polls 1600, Introduction to International Relations. Students also need to get registered in French 1210, French Language Training 1, also in GARD 1500, Effective Writing 1, and one course in Arts, Languages, or Science. For students who are in our combined political science program. So in your first semester of the combined political science program, you will need to take the following courses. Polls 1000, Section 1. This is an introductory course to Canadian government and politics. The course will focus on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and elections. Depending on the course instructor, the course will have two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. I would like to emphasize that all political science majors in our combined political science program should register in section one of polls 1000. All students in our combined political science program will have to take one of the following courses. Polls 1300 or post 1600. So if you are interested in comparative politics, you can register in post 1300. This course introduces students to issues such as democracy, authoritarian systems, nationalism, political culture, and how political power 
is organized. The course focuses on the democratic states of the West, but also examines non-democratic states such as China and the transitional democracies of Eastern Europe. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. If you are interested in international relations, you can take an examination, you can take post 1600. This course offers an examination of competing perspectives on international relations and of such critical themes as power, security, war, imperialism, nationalism, interdependence, development and underdevelopment, human rights, environmental concerns, and the quest for a new world order. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. Now, we also have students who are in our combined program of business administration and political science. These students will have to take the following courses in the fall term. STEM 1000, Introduction to Business. This course takes a holistic approach in helping students develop an understanding of their future places as entry-level managers in business and other forms of organizations. Students will also have to take Pulse 1000, Section 1. This is an introductory course to the politics and government of Canada. This course focuses on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and elections. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. Please be advised that you need to register in section one of Pulse 1000. Students will also need to take Management 1000, Business Communication. Research has shown that effective communication skills are as necessary to career advancement as technical competence, work experience, and academic qualifications. The importance of communication skills is not surprising when you consider that the average business manager spends 75 to 80 percent of the day communicating in one form or another. Thus, the focus of this course is to help you to sharpen your ability to communicate and manage conflict effectively with individuals, within small groups, and large audiences. This course stresses practical skill building for leaders. Time is also spent on communication concepts and techniques, planning, organizing, and making presentations, as well as the application of behavioral science theory to business communication and leadership. Students in Honors Business Administration and Political Science program will also need to take Econ 1100, Introduction to Economics 1. This course is an introduction to microeconomics and is intended to provide students with the tools necessary to begin to understand and evaluate how resources are allocated in the market economy. Specific topics will cover and include how markets function and theories of the business firm, of consumer behavior, and of income distribution. The economic roles of labor unions and government are also covered. The theories are applied to contemporary Canadian economic problems. Students in the Honors Business Administration and Political Science program will also need to take Math 1980, Mathematics for Business. This course is an introductory course to concepts and techniques of mathematics useful 
in business situations. Topics will include mathematical modeling of qualitative scenarios, linear simultaneous equations, inequalities, exponential and logarithmic functions, graphical linear programming, and probability. There is a prerequisite for this course. So any grade 12 math course will be fine. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. To summarize, students who are majoring in business administration and political science will need to take the following courses. Spend 1000, Introduction to Business. Falls 1000, Section 1, Introduction to Canadian Government and Politics. Management 1000, Business Communication. And two courses, Economics 1100, Introduction to Economics 1, and Math 1980, which is Mathematics for Business. Alternatively, you can also take Math 15, uh, 1250, Math 1720, or Math 1760. Students who are in our concurrent political science and education program will be required to take the following courses in the fall term. Polls 1000, Section 1. This is an introductory course to the politics and government of Canada. The course will focus on political culture, the constitution, federalism, the executive, parliament, public service, courts, political parties, interest groups, and elections. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. Please remember that you need to register in Section 1 of Polls 1000. Students in our concurrent political science and education program will have to take one of the following courses, Polls 1300 or Polls 1600. So if you are interested in comparative politics, you will need to take Polls 1300. This course introduces students to issues such as democracy, authoritarian systems, nationalism, political culture, and how political power is organized. The course focuses on the democratic states of the West, but also examines non-democratic states such as China and the transitional democracies of Eastern Europe. Depending on the course instructor, it will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. If you are interested in international relations, you can register in Polls 1600. This course offers an examination of competing perspectives on international relations and of such critical themes as power, security, war, imperialism, nationalism, interdependence, development and underdevelopment, human rights, environmental concerns, and the quest for a new world order. Depending on the course instructor, there will be two or three lecture hours per week and one tutorial. Students in our concurrent program will also need to register in Education 1199A. Teaching and Learning Part 1. This course provides students with directed experience in a community service organization, such as a service club, a youth club or group, a national park or conservation area, or a science museum. The Faculty of Education Field Experience Office will arrange the community service field placements where applicable. Workshops and seminars will prepare students for the community service field placements and also introduce students to the professional year applicant portfolio as a means of documenting and reflecting 
on professional learning and practice in the teaching profession. Also, students in our concurrent program will need to take GARP 1500, Effective Writing 1. This is a foundational course aimed at developing effective writing skills for communicating ideas in academic and other contexts. Topics will include grammar, paragraph writing conventions, academic learning, and critical thinking. This is a hybrid course. A hybrid online course means that most course activity is done asynchronously online, but there are some required live online or face-to-face -face instructional activities, such as lectures, discussions, labs, or other in-person learning activities. For students who are in our concurrent program, we recommend that they take one social science, arts, language, or science course in the first semester. I encourage you to check out this website posted on this slide, course option requirements. It provides you with lots of useful information. So if you are interested in arts, you can take a language course and that will count for credit as arts and humanities course. Or you can take an English and creative writing course, a general course, philosophy course, or women's and gender studies course. If you are interested in social sciences, you can take a course in communication, media, and film, economics, history, labor studies, psychology, sociology, and women and gender studies. Finally, if you are interested in science, you can take a course in computer science, economics, environmental science, and women's and gender studies. To summarize, students in our concurrent program are expected to take the following courses in the fall term. Pulse 1000, section one. Pulse 1300 or Pulse 1600, so one of these two courses. Education 1199, also GARP 1500, Effective Writing 1 and 1 Social Science, Science or Arts and Language course. All right, so all students who are majoring in political science political science with French specialization. For students who are in our combined program or students in our concurrent program, I recommend that you check out program checklists available on the departmental website. And you see the link on this slide. I also encourage you to regularly check your degree progress on your WinSight student and if you have any questions, you can always contact me. My name is Dr. Maltseva, and my contact information is available on the website. Also, make sure that you follow the program requirements. And these program checklists will help you to know what the program requirements are. Also, remember that time management is one of the hardest things to learn in university, but also one of the most important ones. So I recommend that you check your course syllabi on a regular basis and also make a calendar and make time for school outside of class. Remember, if you need help, there is lots of help in the department and across the university. Me, the undergraduate program advisor will always be happy to help you if you have any questions about the program requirements, please schedule an appointment. Also, we have student mentors and you will meet them in polls 1000 section one. The Department of Political Science also has writing 
Health Center. And this will be useful when you will be working on your research papers. Also remember that the department that the University of Windsor has student mental health and accessibility support centers. So please reach out. So remember, we are here to help. Please remember that every faculty has academic advisors and staff that are happy to assist you. Please reach out to our staff if you require advice and assistance. You can also visit future at uwindsor.ca, plan your program to help plan your courses for the upcoming semester and connect with an academic advisor for additional support. With this, I conclude this session and I wish you a relaxing, safe, but also productive summer. And I look forward to meeting you all in the fall semester. Goodbye.